Hello. So I had an interesting question recently about adding um, the numbers to my heading styles, but not the first level. Um, so you'll see here I've got some stuff. So first of all, let's just show how we can add the uh, numbering to my heading styles. This is I've got heading style one, I've got heading style two. You can see from my navigation pane, I've got some heading style threes as well. Uh, so first up, uh, we could just go into our multi-level list and we'll just use this standard one. Uh, Okay, so we can see there we've got, uh, that's my heading style one there, it's number two, I've got my 2.1. Let me just collapse these, a couple of these, uh, so we can actually see there, we can see the earth and we can see the moon there as well. All right, so let's say that for some reason you don't want to have the numbering on this heading one style. Uh, let's show you how you can go about doing that. So I want to come down here and I want to come to my define new multi-level list. So I click on define new multi-level list. Uh, when you first open that up, it'll look like that. The secret stuff is hidden under more. You know, I keep saying this, anytime you see more or advanced, uh, that's where they're hiding the good stuff. So I'm just going to hit more and we'll see we then get some extra stuff that we're, we're looking at. So I'm going to go to my heading one here and you'll see here I've got my um, my number format. So I'm just going to highlight that and just delete it. So essentially I've got none for that now. Okay. I'm then going to go to my heading two style. My heading two style. It's got that little point in front. So I'm going to get rid of that just by going point. But then the important thing is over here. You see it's got this restart list after level one. I just want to untick that. Okay. I'm going to go down to my level three. And again, I'm going to get rid of that point. But this time I'm going to leave that restart list as it is. Okay. Alrighty. So now I'm going to say OK to that. Alright. So now we'll see that my numbering actually starts at my level two styles. Uh, and when I come down here, oh, we should be able to see it in the navigation pane. You can see that um, my level three now takes on that, that sort of what would be a traditionally level two kind of look to it. Now, one issue that we have here is that. I still have this indent, so I need to get rid of that. You'll see how it's decided that it's bulleted. Um, so if I come in here and I say no bullets, that kind of fixes it. I want to do that a bit more permanently. I don't want to have to go through and do that. Where have I got another heading two? You see, I don't, uh, heading one rather. I don't want to do that there. Let me come back up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on heading one style and hit modify. Right down at the bottom of this, you'll see there's a format drop down. I'm going to go down to, oh, it's just fallen off the bottom of my screen, but if you look, scroll down, um, three from the top is one that's called numbering. So I'm going to come to numbering. It's got no numbering. I'm going to go to bullets. It's got none. I'm going to click that anyway, just to give Word a bit of a poke. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say OK. And that should have fixed that up when I come down to here. Yeah, that's fixed that up. And if I go down to the very bottom, for example, and I come in here and I say, Hello world, and I put that as a heading one style. It's it's remembered that as well. Okay, so that's how you can have a multi-level list um, for your headings, but where your heading one style doesn't have the numbering, uh, but that sort of heading what would normally be considered your heading um, one numbering is moved down to heading two, as it were. Enjoy.